Hi Scott. Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. Congratulations on the film. Uh, tell me about the first time you got the phone call about that the movie was being prepared, because I know that it's a thing that's been happening for a few years that they've been trying to get the, the film made. Uh, well, it sort of goes back longer than that. We signed up to producers to make something, whether it was a movie or a TV series, and it, so they had our life rights, then they got a script writer, and then it, once that was together, uh, they went to Hollywood and obviously got Ron involved. And you, I mean, from our point of view, uh, Apollo 13, you couldn't get a better similar sort of film, you know, a real drama that was played out of an you know, impressive rescue, just like Apollo 13 and Thailand. So, uh, it, and then it went to MGM. I mean, so we, you know, we had signed up for a film, but we didn't know what form it would take. So it, it just got better and better and better as we went along. Yeah, and in the, in the bits, I know you said you haven't seen the whole film yet, and the bits that you've seen, what have you made of the performances of Vigo, Colin and, and Joe and all the other guys that are doing the diving? Because they seem to have embraced the, what you guys, have, well, what you so guys we, have done. We, I mean, they're top-notch actors, obviously. Uh, they didn't know what they were doing with diving, but all we had to say is, look at us, demonstrate what we do, and they took that on board straight away. So when you see them diving, they look like 40-year professionals because they're so good at acting and, and taking on the information that we were imparting to them. Yeah. Do you remember that phone call you got on that day when you were, you know, you guys were given the call to, to maybe come and, and help? Do you still remember that as vividly as you do the actual occurrence itself? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we had been reaching out to, to the Thai government to go, uh, and we had sort of semi-packed. But then we got a call. You want to plane at nine o'clock tonight, and we had to be at the Heathrow at six, and it was like three in the afternoon. So it was all very fast. But we, you know, we, from our previous experience of activities, we knew we were as well placed as anyone on the planet to make a difference there. So that's why we were so keen to go. Yeah. And in terms of the, the, the movie itself, what do you think audiences are going to take away from this? Because it is based on the real event. It's still quite current. It's only a couple of years ago that it, that it happened. I mean, it's so uh, big in people's... Uh, because everyone connected the event with the emotion of thinking about the plight of the boy. So that's going to re remain with people for a long time. Uh, and the film very much catches, captures the emotions of the scenes on the ground, which uh, clearly I was there, but we were so focused on, on the rescue of the boys uh, and, and, and planning that that we hadn't really engaged with you know, the drama that was going on around us. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you so Thank much you for your time. Much. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!